My name is Louise Engel Sturgis and I was one of the photographers on the shoot. The overall mood of the shoot was very laid back, very collaborative, and very fun. My style, I guess, is a real amalgamation. I was a pretty hardcore hippie in high school and then moved out to New Mexico and actually got completely fascinated with New York City and so it's a marriage of, you know, urban life and somebody who, you know, loves nature and loves people and loves rock and roll. The overall um, feeling of Louise is that she's really just kind of this hippie gal at heart and um, you know, with a glamorous wardrobe. To kind of use things from her wardrobe was, you know, the, the focal point. And trying to get a girl who kind of felt like Louise was the, the point of the shoot and to shoot in her environment. The inspiration, like, let's find, it's gonna be Louise. Basically, she waking up, I'm feeling glad to be alone and just doing all those sorts of things that you do when nobody's watching you. It just seemed so organic and natural for it to be for Stylecaster. It was sort of just hanging out with friends and it was really nice. It was, you know, it was really exciting to see them work together so well and be a happy, you know, <laughs> They're like a happy vibe for a day of shooting. For the shoot, they used pieces from my Spring 2010 collection. And the inspiration behind the collection was Sola Wit and Rem Cool House, and then general architectural um, diagrams and illustrations. And a little bit of Frank Gehry as well. What I really like about fashion is that it's sort of the most common art form as far as I'm concerned. And as an artist, as a painter, as a photographer, style and aesthetics are very important to me. And I feel like every single person wakes up in the morning and makes a decision about how they want to be perceived. Cool rock, you know how I throw my